tutorial we're going to talk about how to organize your files and folders in Google Drive. So first thing you'll want to notice is the difference between a folder and a file. The folders are going to have the little folder icon on them where the files will have each individual type. So this is a slides presentation, this is a document, and the forms will have their own um, logo same as you would see on these. So you'll see each of your different types of files will have your different icons. So when you're creating folders to organize them, um, I'm going to create a sample folder here. So just click New and add a folder. And we'll call it Sample Folder. And I'll click Create. And it's going to alphabetize them for you, or you can change your settings up here if you want it to. Sort of by Last Modified, Last Modified by Me or Last Opened by Me. Um, but by default, it's going to just go with alphabeti alphabetizing. So there's my sample folder. You can also view them in different ways. So this is looking at them as a list view versus a grid view. So that's just a personal preference. It doesn't really make a, make a difference whether you have them one way or another. So if I have some folder or files that I want to put into this sample folder, it's as easy as clicking them and dragging them into that sample folder. So I'm adding the slides presentation. Now it's giving me a message here saying, do I want to move this file to a shared folder? What that's saying is that folder, if it's shared with anybody, whatever you put into that folder will also be shared with those people. So if that's okay with you, you're going to just click OK. And you'll see now that I have that slides presentation in that folder. And you can see your uh, folder chain up at the top. As you get farther into folders, you'll see it grow. So I'm going to click back here on my drive and just get back to the main screen. So if I wanted to put other documents in there, it's again as simple as clicking and dragging. If I want to do multiple documents, I can do that. So I can put all of these into that sample folder. And it's going to give me a little red number there that tells me how many files I'm moving. So again, to um, change the share settings of this folder, you can tell that it's a shared folder because it has the little icon here with the person. So I can right click on it and click share. And the reason it's telling me that this is a shared folder is because anyone that has the link can view it it's not actually shared with anyone unless I give them that link. If I want to stop getting that error message or that warning message I can just click this and say off. Only specific people can access it. And click OK. And now when I put things in that folder it will not give me that message. As you can see it doesn't have the little person icon so I could click and add them and it's going to just put it in that folder. Um, you can have folders within folders, so I can create a subfolder here. So you'll see it shows up there. So I can have different share settings for this folder than I would have for uh, my sample folder. But if I were to share that sample folder, then this folder would also be shared with those people. So it's kind of like if this one is shared, anything in it will be shared. But I could have this folder have different share settings than this folder. So if you want it to get complicated, it could, but it can be as simple as just having your files in different folders. So on your drive, if um, you'll notice I have some of mine are different colored. So if you have a color coding system that works for you, um, you can always uh, change the color of your folders. You can add a star to make certain of certain ones starred. Um, and you also have a move to. So this is the same as clicking and dragging. If I wanted to move that folder into another folder, it's going to give me a list of all my folders where I could move it. Um, on the side, on the left sidebar over here, you'll also see my drive has a little drop-down menu, which is going to do the same thing as this grid. It's going to give you all of your different file folders and show you which ones have folders within them. So as you can see, you can continue to open up this tree 
on the left sidebar there. And that's the basics of organizing your files in Google Drive.